the terrain of magical expertise. In the past year alone, Tome has become the most popular virtual reality experience ever made, surpassing the limits of games, social networking, and digital interfaces the world over. Millions of players around the planet gather together in this land for a variety of purposes, but for many, it is combat. Here, at the core of Tome's central hub, within the heart of Mech City, the greatest warriors in cyberspace have been found and united to a competition like no other. This battle will not simply be a test of wit, strength, speed, and ability, at least not for a solitary fighter. No, more than anything else, this battle will also be a test of the bonds you have made with your fellow players. Each of you who have made it this far have selected a partner. As a strong-willed team, you will stand against all odds and face off with the best this virtual world has to offer. In the end, only two valiant players shall rise above the rest and show the world that their bond is strong enough to overcome anything. This is the Gemini Tournament. That's what we're here for, folks. I'm Gemini announcer Aneva, streaming to you live from Mech City's Balance Stadium, where the seats are filled with thousands of lucky players that made it here in time to see firsthand who's going to take home the shared title of Virtual World Champion Duo. Down at the Stadium Arena is Gemini announcer Forever coming to you live with on-site coverage of the battles. That's right, Aneva. After a grueling preliminary round, we've wired the competitors down to just over 30 fighters in total. A whole batch of tag teams ready to slice, blast, and bash each other into a pulp all over the arena floor. The excitement is so great, I might just explode. That's great, Forever. We'll be up here in the uh, safety of this box giving live commentary while you give us a first-person play-by-play of each match. Oh, hey! The first four contestants are entering the ring now. Looks like we're about to start. Our first match will be the fiery hot pair of Alpha and Flame Girl versus the dinosaur duo of T-Bones and Granda, who will stand victorious! Oh, hey, I know these guys. Aww, she's cute. You can go first if you want. Aww, do you know what else is cute? Your corpse! gonna be the pace of my collage! Using your skin! And your eyelashes will be the glitter festooned with your intestines! Are you afraid yet? Are you? <laughs> uh, I, I, I didn't teach her that. The trash talking has been terminated and the battle has begun. T-Bones makes a daring first move by lifting an entire chunk of stadium out of the ground! Looks like he's taking the whole dinosaurs and meteors thing a little too seriously. Whoa, but Alpha's on the defensive with his trademark Orion shield to chop it into pebbles. Flame Girl swoops in for a meteor-like attack of her own. Ronda makes a break for the pit, but T-Bone brings up his own defenses. Here comes Alpha, not one to back down so easily. But wait, Ronda's turned the pit her partner produced into a vivid volcanic eruption. There's fireball hail in every direction. I love it. T-Bones wants a piece of Flame Girl, but she seems to be the tree. No, wait! She and her partner are teaming up for a special attack! Ready? Always. Beautiful! They've combined into a furious Vulcan rocket! It's going into the lava! You might want to get your umbrellas, folks! <laughs> Ron has been cooled off and shut down! How will T-Bones retaliate? Careful! What a save! The Rex rescues the stag with one well-timed leap. He better watch out, though. Here comes their opponents again. It's a come from behind the side and wave. But the dinosaurs never learn how to surf. Mm, sorry, lass. When we get back, I'm gonna rip out your jugular. Oh, you are a cute one. Going, going, gone! This game's winners are contestants Alpha and Flame Girl! What a spectacular first match! We've only just scratched the surface, though. So stay in your seats, loyal viewers. We're about to start the next match. Go for broke! The Wheel of Fate is turning! Let nothing hold oh, you back! Oh my god! That chick needs to pack it in with the references already. Anybody could be an announcer like that with the way the show's being run. That 
guy's doing a thing. That guy's also doing a thing. I play video games. So many video games. Please don't get us kicked out. No, no, no hang on a sec. This is, this is good stuff. It's good stuff. Hey, are we downright fierce enough for you? Hey, lady. Are we gonna do this, or do you just want to stand around and complain some more? Damn straight! These unmanly delays are killing my fighting spirits! Oh, you want some of this too? Come and get it! Let's do this! Ha ha ha! Prepare to face the forwardness of Captain Man! You idiot! That wasn't too bad at all. Yeah, for a first official try in the whole team attack thing, I'd say we more than pulled it off. <laughs> Congratulations, Sir Alpha and Lady Flame Girl, for I, Nalak, proud godfather of a dragon, wish you all the happiness in the world as you continue to trip up your enemies from the stadium floor. Uh, thanks, I think. You all right, Nalak? You got a little, uh, something there. Excellent! Fine and dandy! An eager beaver ready to damage way to victory, except this beaver is actually a dragon! He's been awake for two straight days, doing some last-minute grinding. Wow. 185 cups per hour! <clears throat> so how art thou feeling about the first match? Why, well, the prelims were a cinch. But for the final tournament, I was expecting something a bit more challenging than giant rocks and volcanoes. Such parlor tricks shall not take place when Sir Gangrace and I enter the ring. Be wary. Those aren't parlor tricks. You guys are just good. Hark! The squire approacheth! Uh-huh. Hey, Kerb. Hey. Yeah, the first couple matches might seem like they go by pretty fast, but they're all gonna be hard. These people are the best in terms of public players, so watch yourselves. All of you. You seem very focused. I guess. Kerb, listen. I'm sorry about before. I just... Forget it. It's fine. You've got more important things to worry about today. We don't need to throw drama on top of it. Uh, oh. So... Who did you end up picking as your partner? Like I said, I think you've got more important things to concern yourselves with. Kerb? And a flawless victory goes to Saturn Viva and Whitey! Quite a sight. <laughs> Even I wasn't expecting the lineup to turn out quite this way. I can just taste that sarcasm. I mean it, truly. Oh, so you're just complaining then? Not at all. Who am I to judge how this all turns out? That was sarcasm. Please forgive me for being such an open book. We'll see. Thanks again for doing me this favor. Probably wouldn't have ended otherwise. I don't see this taking very much time out of my day, so nothing's necessary. Well, we all need a way to decompress once in a while. Anyway. Our next match will be Curvifer and Archie versus Raccoon and Skate. Contestants, please report to the arena. Wait, Raccoon? Hi! Uh... Somebody want to tell me how Raccoon got in here? I'm not Raccoon. I'm a completely different character. Raccoon. Yeah, dog. Completely different. Shut it, Skat. Skate. Great. Here they are, folks. Let the battle begin. Don't worry, Kerbifer. I'll take care of them. Here, hold this, champ. Oh, thanks. Oh, God damn it! Oh, no! In a bizarre twist of fate that was somehow totally seen coming by everyone, Archie is demolished and Kerbifer is left to contend with both opponents at once! Tee <laughs> hee! Little Timmy go boom! Whatever, I don't need his help to kick your ugly ass. And seriously, what the hell is with the blinding red colors? What, did a ketchup bottle explode in your face? Oh! Foolish Marshmallow! You have disgraced me for the last time! For here, in a sacred tournament, you will meet a match that is yours! Prepare to be roasted, Marshmallow Man! Ha-ha! <laughs> hmm. Indeed. Hey, uh, Squirt. Skate. Whatever. I got this super secret move I really want to try out. But if I'm gonna pull it off, I need your help. Really? Uh, what do I do? Just follow my lead. Here we go! Special move! Shining Tornado Destiny Heart to break out! Throw! Throw? Okay, was that supposed to... Nope! That was supposed to. Hope you like the taste of the beat! Literally! <laughs> this is my playground. My moment! And this time, you ain't gonna ruin it. I've always wanted to say this. No, no! Anything with that? Anything with that? No! No! Ah! Wow, now that's violence, folks. And I love it! Uh, uh, I am...
am not having fun anymore. Gee, sounds like somebody's butt hurt. We're only three matches in, and already I can feel that the crowd is just itching for more and more. Well, don't go anywhere, because there's plenty more where that came from. That makes Kerberfer the solitary winner of the round! Bring on the next contestant! Our next match features the infamous Twin Blades, Suzuku and Shogun, up against two players that have been registered with Tone since the public release of the game, Zeto and Kizuna. Who amongst the Asian imitation players will prevail? The seasoned contestants and their long-developed skills are the roughneck new bloods with their fresh tactics. What tactics? We're gonna wipe you assholes off the map. Yeah, besides, he is Japanese. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm betting... 15 seconds. 10. <laughs> Hell or heaven, let's rock! Wielder of the Blade of the Sun, Suzuku the Continuous. Wielder of the Blade of the Moon, Shogun the Commanding. Together, Together we, we are... are... Dead. <laughs> Dude, I've got a confession to make. Yeah? <laughs> I'm not really Japanese. I'm Chinese. Son of a bitch. That's a wrap. The round goes to Seto and Kizuna. Everything all right? Not sure. Our match is next. The time has come. Our destiny awaits. Whoosh! Ooh, our contestants this time are quite punctual. To look forward to this round, we have... Elliscope and Hyperlinks versus Game Crazed and Nylon. Master of having his username formally announced. Hello. This looks to be a fierce battle. Maybe. Either way, let it begin. You are my opponents, and yet you are also my dear friends. It feels as if it was only the day of yesterday that I reunited your parted souls, wandering lost amidst the concrete jungle. It was on that night I realized exactly what my purpose was. Yes, I remember that fated day when I received my prize for registering into this glorious virtual land. Congratulations! You are 1,111,111th registered player. You get a dragon man. And so it went that I would become a legendary hero of the dawning of a new age of prosperity for all life on Earth. For I, master of reciting wondrous origin stories, must grab this destiny firmly by the bollocks and play by right of place as a champion of the fair tournament. And yet, and yet, I'm faced with clashing against two allies in arms who I valiantly fought against in the battle of life or death. Oh, and henceforth, I must fight them in such a battle in order to see that will make me victory. Oh, the stakes are cool to be on this night. How can one deign to make the unholy decision to strike down such promising new warriors before they're even given a proper chance to shine like the stars in the night sky? Nay, we as the moon and sun must overshadow and outshine them all, regardless of our undying respect for all things that make up the resplendent world we pride ourselves on protecting. Who are we? Who are we indeed? We are... This game's winners are... Nylon and Game Grave. Victorious! What an upset! The action can only get better from here, folks. Don't go anywhere, because we've got plenty more with that. Oh, really? Really? Really right now? Really? Uh, uh, oh! Oh! There it goes. Okay. Great. Oh, folks, these fights are just flying by. I can hardly believe we're already down to the last match of the first round. Last but certainly not least, we have some very unlikely pairs going head to head. It's Sniper Wheel and Astrob versus Dust Bunny and Neo Mutant. This could be anyone's game. <laughs> Someone seems a bit grumpy this afternoon. Hey now, be nice. Just let me handle this little task and you can relax. Sound good? Yeah, I thought so. Hmm. Oh, 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 yeah! Look at that crowd! <laughs> I'm great, I know it! Thank you, thank you! You're all beautiful, really. Oh, how did I let you talk me into doing this? Hey, you're not complaining, are you? Cause that sounded like complaining! No, no, uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry! Begin! Dust Bunny starts off with a boring defensive maneuver and fills the arena with smoke. Woo! Astarob appears to be sheepishly tossing in an explosive! Dust Bunny fakes him out by fading into even thicker smoke and now I can't see nothing yet. 
I'm warning you. I've got a shield, and I know how to use it. I mean, sort of no. It, it's still in beta. I'm sorry. Suits me just fine. I, I don't do long distance. Sorry. Wow. Get over yourself. Hey, you're not allowed to do that. Oh, I see what you're doing here. Yeah, you got tricks. I got tricks. You heard the song? I got a bag full of well, folks, this is the most ineffective commentary I've ever given. But I think it's really violent and I'm acting in there. Really, I do. Uh, they're gone. I guess that means we have our winners. Sniper Wheel and Astaroth move to the next round. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Look at it! Look at it! This is why I told you how great I am! Shield! She took my shield! She's not supposed to be able to do that! Still a traitor! Who cares? I won! And with that, the first round has concluded and we wire down our contestants for the Gemini Tournament quarterfinals. As we continue to reduce the player count with each battle, the competition becomes more and more heart-pounding. Not just for the audience, but for the courageous fighters that have stuck it out thus far. As the stakes raise higher and higher, one solitary slip-up could cost them the entire match, and their hopes and dreams will be dashed forever. I can't take it! We've got Alpha and Flame Girl to the left, and Whitey and Saturn Diva to the right. What more could you ask for? Miss Slur, if she keeps it up, I'm gonna... Keep calm and carry on? Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime! Come on! Flame Girl and Whitey start things off the red, white, and blue play in the sky. The clashing of fire and ice is astounding! Oh, but let's not forget Alpha, who unleashes a swift flurry of distances at Saturn Diva. She's not backing down. This gal deflecting every hit with deadly accuracy. Her sharp-edged arm blades are mighty weapons indeed. Look at that precision, that concentration, even as I speak these very words that may be distracting her from her penultimate goal of taking the championship. She did it, folks! Incredible! She's taking a victory lap. Oh, she's coming straight towards me! Well, folks, I can safely say that this match goes to Alpha and Flame Girl. They're on a roll this tournament, so next time we'll be finding out who's going to be unlucky enough to face them in the semifinals. Will the next contestants please approach the ring as soon as possible? Problem, Squire? <sighs> I am not having a good time. What do you have to be upset about? Ah, congratulations to the Vulcan Rocket Power team on your stunning performance. Your body passion warms my very soul by several thousand degrees. Thanks. Uh, I think you might want to drink some water or something, Nye. Excuse me. Kirk, can we talk for a sec? Can't. Gotta go. No, you, you don't understand. I was just gonna warn you. Look, dude, this whole thing is turning out to be a waste of my time, and I feel like I'm wasting everyone else's. I'm just gonna get this over with as quickly as possible. The guy you're about to fight, he's... well... I know what his deal is. He just wants to fight you. I get it. Yeah, but... Dude, just... Let me handle this. Alone. This match looks to be an interesting one, as the odds appear to be stacked against the solitary competitor. What kind of outcome will this match bring? Please don't let things turn ugly now. We should go. W well, 
folks. I guess this match goes to the contestants Zeto and Kizuna. They will be facing contestants Alpha and Flame Girl in the following round. That should be exciting, right? That certainly was something. I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like that. Come to think about it, I don't think I can see anything at all right now. Forever? You down there? Hello? Is this supposed to happen? Folks, the stadium appears to be filling up with a massive smoke screen. I'm fairly certain this isn't part of the program, so forgive my slightly bewildered announcing while we figure this out. This won't do. Not in my time. Hey, kid. Do you really want to know the truth about the forbidden power? <sighs> I suggest you follow me. The Webmaster, System Administrator and Creator of Tome. This is your first time seeing him. He... yeah. A sight to behold. He certainly takes care of business in a rather showy manner. Too showy, thought I. Not a slightly jealous dragon of Masters of the Web with dramatic entrances! <laughs> Cannot compete with such a level of authority as that. Wait a minute. Did you guys see Alpha on your way up? What ho? He's vanished. It was right after the smoke covered the stadium. This is bad. Indeedly so. If he's not reunited with you as his partner in time for your next match, you'll have to face that hazardous pair alone. Just as the hopeless squire did. I'm fairly certain he's still located within the stadium walls. I've got to go hunt him down. I'll be back. Hurry now. Why do I get the feeling something really bad is going to happen?